Yo, what's going on guys? And I'm back with another video on another character and this time it's not an SSR, it's an SR. I hold this character very dear to me. So because of that, she gets a video even though she's an SR. Usually I don't really cover these things, but I like her a lot. She was my top three and probably still top five now. Um, overall favorite characters in Grand Blue. And it's Korwa. I've been using this character for a long time. And it's only it's only right we give her a video. I kind of was hoping that she would be a new SSR. Unfortunately, she did not get that treatment. Hopefully, they do end up buffing the wind version of her to become something more attuned with this unit. Because this unit is actually okay. It, it goes a good distance for what they can do with the wind version of her. Which is what I hope they do with the next um, balance patch for the older units. Yeah, feels weird saying that Korwa is an old unit now. But she came out in 2016. And yeah, yeah. Now, these names are hella hard. <laughs> I'll try to make it as funny as possible, but pronouncing half of these, oh, 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 brother, oh man. But let's we'll start with the Ogi EP. <laughs> that's all like. That's all I'm saying. I don't know how to pronounce the other part too damn. <laughs> it's too hard. But this is her Ogi effect. It extends the duration of her special buffs granted by her skill 2. It only applies to her multi-attack. It does not apply to her skill right here, this one. You would think it would, but it does not, so that's unfortunate. It do apply to these two, though. And that's about it, really. It's okay. Um, I, The biggest thing about this Oki is that it gives a big big thing and you may not it may not sound like a big thing but it does actual damage this is the first core wild unit in the game that does ogi damage so what i'm hoping for is for the other versions of her to gain ogi damage that would be a big difference in making her do a lot more damage and helping out the team so this is a good thing a very good thing okay so her next skill is tranchant it's her um skill one does the wind damage to a foe and gets her 20% charge bar. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the Chrysor uh, skill. Uh, it's, it's just a nuke and 20% charge bar. It's not anything amazing or anything. It's okay, I guess. Consolatrice, it's the skill 2. Um, it restores health of all allies and removes one debuff. This is actually really good for an SR unit. Not many of them have a heal and a rem uh, clear in one skill. Most of them actually, I mean, recently they've been doing this more often, but this is not a bad skill at all for an SR. It's one of the better skills, not a huge heal though. So keep that in mind, it's season SR. There's only so much he can do, but it's, it's okay, it's okay. It's not a bad skill. Oh, she's getting, like, really cute art, bro. She's sleeping. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Can we talk about the art in this character, bro? Oh, man, man, screw the character. Talk about the art. Hold up. Look at all these arts. Holy crap. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I am so... There's so many good ones. Oh, my Lord. I'm so happy, bro. She's the wife. Definitely the wife. Oh, my God. Look at all these good arts. Oh, oh why is she an SR, man? Darn. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. I had to gush over her. I apologize. Now, her third skill. <laughs> this is actually a French word, apparently. Told Joy's assemble. Uh, it means like every, I uh, always assemble or something like that. It's This is her buff skill. Now, this buff is not the worst buff. It's nothing like her, her summer one. It's okay. Personally, it... It's okay. I just wish that it could be extended. The hype could be extended by her skill too. But unfortunately, it cannot. And that's, I think that's a big thing. It will make her a much better unit if she could extend the hype. That's the only thing that I would um, complain about on this skill. It's not off or anything. But her not being able to extend the hype does hammer it quite a bit. This also um, makes you take no damage or debuffs. 
for one for one hit, which is really really good actually. This is like one of the only units in the game that I think has this right now. Um, a skill where it guarantees you take no damage or debuffs. So that's a very good skill. Do know it has a very hefty cooldown time, which is 12 turns. That's a big problem with it. But what I'm really hoping for is that they take these like this concept and they put it into the SSR version of her that comes out. Oh, the buff that comes out for her because i i'm pretty sure they're gonna buff her i hope i pray i'm, I'm praying every day man <laughs> um next thing is her what might have been her support skill boost the charge attack specs based on a number of male main allies boost the healing specs based on a number of other female main allies i i kind of like that um I don't like that in male though, because who runs male in in uh, wind anymore? It's all about the waifus. Uh, so mm, it's okay. Uh, you, you're pretty much mainly gonna have the boost to female, unless you run in like a sword team with her. But eh, it could be better. It could be better. And oh, I, I went to parent. Ooh, I meant to go to her EMPs. Maybe you got to want to look at her low key. Now, with her EMPs, her EMPs are not bad. I would recommend going wind attack, triple attack, CA damage. Probably one point into this, though. You may want to max out healing. I don't think it's worth it, though. To be honest, you're not really... Most people are not going to EMP an SR unit. But I will. <laughs> uh, she's so cute! <laughs> I don't care, bro. Listen, everybody has that one waifu that they want to cherish, you know? This is mine, so leave me alone. She's like my, 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 my second character. She probably is my favorite GBF character, original. John is my favorite character in the game. There's no question, there's no competition. John's number one, but John is not an original GBF character. So I'm not gonna really count her. But for GBF original characters, Korwa is probably my favorite. I can't really think of another unit that's a GBF original that I like more than her. But that's the way I would go with her EMPs. I'm sorry, I, I like I get, I get off track. You know, see my wife. Leave me alone. Let me let me talk. <laughs> but let's get to a fight with her. It probably won't go well because she's an SR. But you'll see how her buff goes. It's it's pretty cool. I'll be right back. Now I wasn't sure what raid to take on. I already took on the event raid. So this time we'll just be taking on Yig, uh, Yig Grassel, uh high level. Now, as I mentioned, this core is extremely cute. I'm probably gonna use her as the main. Uh, first, of all, can we talk about? She's the only unit that has the, um, the academy outfit on. Still, Vera and Catalina has not gotten that outfit yet, and I don't know why. But right now, she's currently the only one. Oh, she's currently the only one with the outfit, which is pretty cool. It's actually a very nice outfit, so at least it has like a really nice outfit. I'm gonna give her that. The charge bar, charge bar. Nah, that looks good to me. I wish they lowered the cooldown on her skill three though. Her skill three feels like it takes so long. Twelve turns is a long time. I brought she yet day just so that Korwa can get more Ogi, uh, a little bit more Ogi out of her. So you can see right there, she, she uh, took the hit, no problem, because you get that one hit immunity. Which is, the one hit immunity could be really good in the future, I think. Right now, not so much, but maybe a boss where like you need that and you need her in the back row. Maybe. It's something to keep in mind when we come with harder content. It's a very unique thing that only she has right now. Um... So we're gonna Ogi here and then Ogi again with Siete skill three right now. Now, if there are any other units that people wanna see get an SR or SSR in the game, cause I was streaming um, GBF and I was talking about units that like they need something new in the game. Cause they haven't had anything like for a very long time. There was like units like Forte's another one. Um, Arnett is another unit that they, they have a lot of cool stuff, but they don't have any like extra units in the game. Oh, we also need to remove the attack down right now. 
pretty cool. So like her clear and the heal is not bad. Like, like her kit is not awful and it could be something good for the other versions of her. Hopefully. I think they take off the Ogi effect. Using Monkey again feels nice. I, this account didn't have Monkey before, so it was kind of... I don't know. I feel like something was missing. I've, I've been using Monkey for so long. Like, the only reason I ever dropped Monkey was because of the Eternals. But even when um, I dropped Monkey, I ended up still using her regardless. Because I like her a lot. I don't think she's like... The, the, I don't think she was the best character back then. But I only used her because I liked her a lot. That and she was my first ever Exodiac. I actually got her on my first spark. Even though she was not my goal. I got her by just luck. I right, go with that. Debuff. I guess we could delay. I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, it's Yig. It doesn't have that much health, right? I, I hope. Uh, probably end up bursting down the boss next turn. Whenever we get the uh, Bahamut and Shiva's up. <laughs> That's annoying. I hate when it does that. They should buff a uh, monkey a little bit more so that she gets uh, immunity. <laughs> she gets everything in the game. For the team. It's only fair. Have like our skill one be like fun fun. Um, skill two. And make it just clear everything. <laughs> uh, never let me design a game because I'll, I'll be very unfair. <laughs> I guess we, nah, I don't think we need to drop a homet this turn, honestly. We already have the uh, Bunko buff up. Killing this this thing has been taking quite a toll on us. It's not dying. Oh, it should be dead this turn though. If they multi attack. Yeah, that works. Her buff is still on actually. Korwa is a buff. You can see that it's still going on. So they do have the multi attack boost. It's just that um, the Lord is still there. It has one turn left. That's really good. It's been on for what? It's been eight turns. Now keep in mind, this is only because I'm running Siete. If Siete didn't Ogi again, she would have not had her buff up for this long. So keep that in mind. We're gonna drop Baja because Korwa's not gonna cap Ogi anyway. And even if she does cap, she gets a little bit more damage. Alright. There we go. But combined with Siete's ability to stop people from being, well, stopping himself from being hit, and Korwa's ability to stop another unit besides yourself, this team is not, like, awful, honestly. I do hope there's a boss in the future that makes her a little bit more viable, though, where you need that ability to not take damage or debuffs. She would have been really good actually for fire because team up malice is a perfect example where her buff can do something really good keep in mind it had a really long cooldown but team up malice is definitely a good example where her buff could be really really good off the top of my head um drop see what two turns from now So I guess we're going to Ogi, and then we're going to use Shiva, I think. Something like that. Uh, yeah. Hopefully it does multi-attack down or something. Something that's not annoying. Alright. Yeah, I see her buff ran out now. It took, what, 12 turns? But her buff should be up again, actually. So it's not that bad. Yeah. Give that buff to her. Hit this. Hit that. 
I could have dropped Shiva with it, but it's, no, it's like no point. I, I did drop Shiva twice right after. I kind of want Wind Magna to get Sentence on it. I just want to see what what it can do with CFA skill 4. And you can see her damage to a little bit lower. Feels bad. Core is still an SR, so she's not going to have like the high damage output of an SSR unit. Unfortunately, it's very hard for those units to have that. Oh, I don't have uh, monkey buffs up, so we're not going to cap autos here. Yeah, and I guess if it doesn't die, then we'll just um, drop Baja right after. But I like her. Maybe not everyone likes her. That's okay. You know, you guys don't gotta like her. I like her, and that's what matters. <laughs> you don't gotta like her. It's for me. <laughs> it's all for me. Hopefully the um, the SSR one, the wind versions of her, they do get a buff in the upcoming balance patch. The balance patch will be a, like probably get announced either um mid-April, end of April, or beginning of May, I feel. Because it should be one coming around, around the corner. So hopefully this is this is, this is is a good thing for the SSR version of her. I hope, I pray. I like her a lot. And we got a whole bunch of nothing. There's nothing I want from this raid anyway. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and peace out.